Another game, uh, another uh, a similar script we were just talking about. Uh, you get down, but then you battle back. You guys don't give up. And, and you had a lot of momentum there at the end of the second period. You, you did battle back and tie it up. And then Western, whatever they did at the, the second intermission, were able to kind of slow things down to start that third period. And we've seen this kind of play itself out several times during the course of the season. Yeah, they, they took their game to another level. And we um... – I don't know what level we went to, um, but it, it's, it's our, you know, unfortunately it's our top guys. I mean, you know, you look who was out there on the ice and their game winning goal, um, you know, that, that's seniors and, and so on and so forth. And, you know, it, it's tough to win a game against a really good team like that when your forwards aren't, aren't really contributing offensively. I mean, the two goals we scored were D um, uh, and it, it just makes it difficult. We, we, we definitely find a different way to lose. Um, um, you know, over the course of the year, and, and, and tonight was uh, was another one of those examples. Game seemed like it got pretty chippy there in the second period, and, and a couple of times where some plays that it looked like could have been called penalties were not. I'm not asking you to comment on, on the officiating, but more so the, the chippiness of the game, and that seemed to work in your guys' favor kind of in that, that final 10 minutes of the, the second period. Well, the only reason it got chippy to me, Wads, is because we started to play, and we pushed back. Um, for the first and third, we stand around and watched them play and got beat up and pushed around. And well, when it got chippy was when we, when we went nose to nose. But again, for the, for the Miami people that are listening, don't worry. We're gonna, that's who we're going to be. Um, we're going to go nose to nose with teams like that over the 60 minutes, over, over the course of a weekend, over the course of a season, um, because that's a good team. That, they're going to be a handful for anybody. Um, but they don't like to get they pushed back on and, and – and w when we get this right, we'll, we'll push back. And, and uh, that's what we did in the second period, and that's why I got chippy. Well, Coach, you mentioned the, the defensive unit. You, you got a, a couple of D-man goals, and, but also the defensively seemed like the whole unit play, played pretty well out in front of Pearson and, and were able to, uh, for the most part, take away second-chance opportunities. What uh, what'd you like about what you saw from the defensive well, unit? And the reality with that, Drew, too, is their first goal, they, they, he, the guy skated right between two defensemen and well, walked in yeah. on a breakaway. Um, <laughs> and, I mean, I, again, I'm, I'm not being a jerk here. That's the obvious, uh, you know. So um, it's inconsistent. Our defensive play is inconsistent. Fair. Our defenseman's play is inconsistent. Um, now, what, what, what they – what I liked is, you know, I, I thought Rourke Russell played, played all right. I thought Robbie Drasner played all right. No, not, not just Derek Dowski answered. He did not have a good game Friday. He played better tonight. Um, so, you know, we, we, our play defensively has been inconsistent. Uh, just like the individual's play, not just defensively. Uh, individually speaking, our play has been inconsistent. And when you uh, you look through the, the third period, what was it about the third period that Western Michigan did that your guys couldn't do? I mean, it, it took you know nearly 15 minutes to get the first shot on goal, much less. But but you were still in the game. That's, that's yeah. the frustrating part when you're well, so they close. Well, they, they, they played the game the right way, Wads. We had a four-on-one at two-to-two, two and we didn't get a shot on net. Yep. And, and they just put pucks on net and crashed the net and put people there. And, and again, you can't, you can't really teach that. You have to recruit it. Um, and that's when I say we're going we're gonna to get this right. We're going to recruit the right players the right, and to, to play the game the right way. But I think what they did was they took their game to another level that we couldn't – we can't keep up with. We, right. we can't answer. We, 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 and and, and we must have – we must have, ex you know, extended ourselves a little uh, more than I thought to get back to two to two. I mean, that, maybe that's what it was. It, it was something that we put all that energy to get to, to get back to two all that we couldn't we couldn't sustain that or take it to another level. And they not only did they sustain it, they took it to a whole other level in the third period, as far as I was concerned. And but if you look at their top people, number seven um, uh, was all over the ice again. Um, their their uh, their their forward groups which just wave after wave after wave, and uh, and we didn't have it. We chased them around for twenty minutes for sure. Well, Coach, looking at looking ahead, so and also looking at this game, it looked like a couple of guys went down hard and, and were a little slow to get back to the bench, but then they were right back out there for their their next shift. Uh, what does it mean to, to get that extra week to, to try to get guys healthy? You're still short staffed. You're still you yeah. still got guys that are that are battling injuries. Well, uh, Wads and I talked about it before the game, Drew, that we're not going to get those guys back. Um, 
uh, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're just not. So I think, I think some, some mental and physical rest, but, but again, we're, we're going to, it looks like we'll play North Dakota. Uh, and they, I mean, Western Michigan comes at you like North Dakota does, yeah. but, but North Dakota is a whole other, uh, um, a whole other group of problems. And, 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 you know, our group has proven they, you know, we, we have a very difficult time sustaining any level of play over the course of time, whether that's be individual play or collective play. And we just don't have the depth to um, hold guys accountable for their play. So hopefully over the course of the next 10 days, we can get rested mentally and physically, but I, I really don't think we're going to get any, any, any more bodies back in terms of getting healthy that way. And how about the play of Ludwig Pearson kind of shaking off the effects of, of getting banged into in, on Friday night's game? I thought he played very well. Didn't show any ill effects. Yeah, Ludwig Pearson's a really good player. Um, but, he, you know, again, we've talked about this numerous times. He puts the time in. He prepares. It's an everyday thing for him. It's not sometimes. And we just, you know, some people could learn from him. And uh, uh, But he's a really good player. And, and I thought he answered well. And, that's good. I'm, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad Friday didn't uh, didn't set him back. <laughs>